I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Hello, beautiful people. What is going on? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are playing a game called West Grove. In West Grove, we play as Kirk, who is jobless. He decides to find this job where he has to watch over some land overnight with an abandoned factory. His job is to just make sure no kids break into the abandoned factory and graffiti it and stuff like that because the land is being sold soon. But what Kirk doesn't know is that this land has a very bad history and he finds that out the hard way. This game is free to play so if you want to try it out the link will be in the description down below. And all right, enough of me talking. Let's hop right in. I don't think it's a bad idea. John mentioned a job as a lookout on some land near this workplace in Westgrove, a small town. Since the accident, I've been struggling to find work and the bills are piling up. I know I need to do something about it. Just please take care of the kids. I'll get them something on my way back. Kirk Hansen, October 13th, 1985, telephone call log. As a lookout on some land. So that's our job. Yeah, oh my God, that's loud. This is my stop. I think we're working as a lookout on some land, something like that. God damn, that is a rundown building. It seems to be the place I just need to figure out how to get in. I wonder how we're getting in, chat. <laughs> Private property, no trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Looks like I've already found a way in. All right, so I don't know. I mean, we, we both don't know too much about the story of this so far. Is this where we got to go? Door. It's locked. Maybe I could see something through the keyhole. Okay. Um, there was a pentagram on the wall, but that's fine. Can we suggest stuff for you to react? Ooh. Hello? I can't look through the peephole again. It sounded like something fell. I'm already kind of nervous. Where the hell is this path going to, man? Okay, we got another entryway, I guess, over here. A lot of graffiti. It's locked. Maybe you can see something through the keyhole. All right. Okay, very dark in there. I'm good off that one. Music kind of hitting. Hold on, what's what's this area for? I think this is a good place to set up my camp. All right. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Seems that someone has entered the radio frequency. W6D2G, this is John. Are you receiving me? Kirk, yeah, your signal's good. How are things going? Good, I've just set up camp. Great, that's a quiet job. It will be easy for you. You shouldn't be too far from here. I think you could see the watchtower from where you are. Yeah, I saw it on the way here. Anyway, just be aware if any vandals break in, they're harmless, just stupid kids. Although, it's very unlikely that this will happen. Just do your job, remove some graffiti, and whatever other shit those kids have been up to. The owner doesn't want buyers to be scared off by some silly joke. You could start from the main factory. The building next to it is completely walled off, so you won't need to go into it. Nobody has been there for a long time, so take whatever shit you could find. Nobody will miss it anyway. An employee should show up tomorrow to check things out and pay you. I think that's it. I'll be on this frequency if you need anything. Okay, thanks man. Better get my sponge from my backpack and my flashlight before I go. Okay, so our job is to basically clean up the factory a little because I guess people are going to come attempt to buy the land. And flashlight. Beautiful. I love a flashlight right off the start. What's up with the fence over here? Oh, that's where the other part of the path goes. I can't go any further than this. All right. How the hell am I going to get in this building, though? Yeah, I'm sorry. Any job like this, you should have. And the red flags begin, chat. And the red flags begin. It's locked. Oh, I thought I was going to clean the graffiti off there. Let's go chase after that guy. Hello? Is that sewer pipe there? How did I miss that? All right. Looks like there's something on the path. That's not sketchy at all. Yeah, I mean, nice guy, right? He did give us the key, so maybe he's not so bad after all. Maybe it's one of the stupid kids that John was talking about over the radio, right? How perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Pentagram, I thought these kids would be more creative. I should clean that before entering the factory. Indeed. I need my sponge to remove that graffiti. 
how do I... Oh, okay. Perfect. Now let's go inside. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. All right. That was a instant vibe change. We went from calm and relaxing to I don't want to be here anymore. It's locked from the other side. Maybe I could see something through the keyhole. That looks like a hatch, right? That goes down. There's going to be at one point where we look through the keyhole and get jump scared. I'm almost sure of it. What in the sketchy ass? Where'd the stairs go? I can't hide in this, right? Okay, I can't. Graffiti. Clean. Okay, we're still clear. Is this door locked? It is. Maybe you can see something through the keyhole? Yeah, I'm good. We could, we could, we could look away now. Thank you. Ah, these tight hallways. Come on. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why? Why? What is this? Okay, I'll take that. Okay, I don't like that that door is propped open. All right, let's clean. Okay, we're still clear. What's up with the candles? A lit candle. It seems that someone has been here recently. I'd better be on my guard. Oh, I was already on my guard. Don't you worry. I didn't take a candle to get me started. February 2nd, 1933. So that's like 50 years before we're here. The town of Derryfield is teetering on the brink of bankruptcy. Facing an unprecedented exodus of residents, a significant portion of the town's former inhabitants have chosen to move to neighboring towns in the region. This intriguing phenomenon has captured the attention of statisticians, stat, stat, statistic, st right? While pinpointing the exact cause of this issue remains challenging, it is believed to be linked to a myriad, myriad of factors. I can't read today, I'm sorry. Ranging from issues with the infrastructure and public services to the soaring cost of living, the town hall debate is currently in the planning stages, aiming to chart a course for Derryfield's future. If substantial changes are not implemented, Derryfield's fate appears ominously tied to the prospect of becoming a ghost town. Mayor Frank Barnes declined to be interviewed. So a bunch of people decided to move away that were living in the town, but they don't know why. Seems like this wood plank has jammed the door. It's stuck. I can't get it out with my bare hands. Did you guys see anything I could use to help get that wood out? I mean, we did get the key, so I guess we could go open one of the other doors. Awesome. Wonderful. Oh, that's right. It was the sketchy room. Hello? Okay, so something back there just crashed. Awesome. Rope? The locker door is tied with a rope. It's too tough for me to remove on my own. All right, someone is definitely chilling here. A hammer. Okay, we can use that for the um for the door for the door with the wood. Huh? Wait, this is where I came in from. This damn place is falling apart. I have to find another way out. I know I'm not getting out right now. I have to come back, because why would they show me that locker? All right, come on, bro. Hit it a little harder. Jeez, it's just a piece of wood. Hello? Okay, more candles. This is not good. We probably shouldn't be going this direction. It's locked. The hinges aren't screwed on. I think I can open it if I lift the door somehow. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need another tool, which is why we have this lighter to go burn the rope back there. Metal pipe. Okay, so we could probably prop this under the door. Come on, come on. 
Okay, so this is the first room that we found that was locked from the other side. And we are out, maybe? This damn place is falling apart. I don't know why they care so much about it. I better make sure I've removed all the graffiti and get out of here. Oh, we definitely did. Can I take a look at over here? Like, where did the debris even come from? Because the ceiling is still intact. All right, yeah, we're out. And it's not nighttime yet. Wonderful. What a blessed day. All right. Where's my pack of cigarettes? I'm sure I left it in my pocket. I must have dropped it at the bus stop. It's, I'm not too far. I think it stopped by before I go to my campsite. Really? Do I have to? Did I take the wrong way? I'm pretty sure this was the right way. How did that wall get there? Looks like there's some paper stuck to it. All right. Definitely. All right. <laughs> 100% something supernatural is going on here now because this wall was 100% not here. Missing Henry Simmons, 13 years old, black hair, brown eyes, date of birth, August 3rd, 1919. April 6th, 1932, missing since December 14th, 1931. Local sheriffs made a significant breakthrough today in the case of the missing 16-year-old student, Helen Baker, who vanished three months ago. A vital piece of evidence, her dress was found near the entrance of the expansive forest surrounding the area. The Sheriff's Department is now mobilizing a search effort in the vicinity in hopes of locating Helen. October 28th, 1932. Distrust and fear spread throughout Dairyfield. In a growing atmosphere of unease, the residents of Dairyfield find themselves grappling with mounting uncertainty. Contains a car crash photo. The text is unreadable. March 18th, 1932. Despite the diligent efforts of volunteer search teams, there remains no sign of Thomas Lewis. The local Dairyfield sheriffs maintain the theory that Lewis fled town in connection with outstanding gambling debts. However, his family... Ve ve <laughs> vehemently disputes this explanation, insisting there is more to the story. All right, so a ton of people have gone missing, and one of the people that went missing, uh, they found her dress in front of a forest. I must have missed it. I better find my way back to camp. It's starting to get dark, and my characters. Did I miss all these things? Did you guys see this too? Yeah, I'll go in. Why not? Hello? Oh, it's just a building. Okay, cool. Sticks. Old paper. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience of not being present upon your arrival. It has come to our attention that one of our supervisors encountered a bear attack near the end of our shift. We are taking immediate action to address the situation. All large equipment and machinery have been promptly gathered and transferred to the combined storage warehouse. Additionally, we have installed bear traps on the exterior of the premises before our departure, although we acknowledge that this precaution should have been our initial priority. I extend my heartfelt apologies for any disruption this incident may have caused. So there might be a bear in the area too and bear traps I have to watch out for? Are you kidding? Come on, bruh. Aren't I dealing with enough around here? Looks like I'm back in camp. I'd better start lighting my fire and go to my tent. Let's get it. Uh, I do have a lighter somewhere. Oh, should I check the fence over here? Maybe something may have changed. Nope, that still appears to be the same. And fire. I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to rest in my tent. All right. Good night, everyone. What time is it? It's still night. Must be my insomnia again. Oh, hell no. John, can you hear me? Hello? It's probably just interference. I'm hungry. I better eat something. I bought a lunch in my backpack. Nah, bro. It is way too dark. I can't see a thing. Ah, uh, food. God, I'm scared something's just gonna come running at me. Uh, uh, how am I heating this up? What am I doing with this? Oh. Peanut butter. Bread. I should spread the peanut butter on it. Yum. 
hell was that? Those damn kids might have stepped into a bear trap. I'd better go ahead and check it out. Oh, Kirk. Oh, silly Kirk. You were the first one to die in a horror movie. That sounded like that came from straight ahead. <sighs> Can I bring... <sighs> this is why we should have brought the Glock. Whoever said that earlier in chat, you was not wrong. You were 100% correct. What the hell? They cut the fence too? How did I not hear that? Oh, come on. Hello? Oh, not you. Were you just moving? What was that sound? Hello? Is everybody okay? Sound like a gate opened. A house. Can you guys see a house? Oh my god. Yo, someone turn the brightness up in this game, bro. I can't see anything. Okay, I see the house now. I'm not gonna enter, right? It's not gonna let me enter the house, right? Is anyone there? What the fuck have those kids done? I should have noticed them cutting the damn fence. I'm screwed. I'd better check what happened. Maybe it's nothing serious. Kirk, you stupid ass, bro. You stupid ass, Kirk. Canvas. I don't need to touch it. Better check that noise. Oh, I do hear some like. Someone's for sure above me. Fridge. It's rusty. What? Like, why even let me inspect the fridge? <laughs> it seems there's something behind this wall. Are you okay? I'll get you out of there. There are no gaps to pull it up with my hands. I have to find a way to pull this wall. All right, secret entrance. How many red flags are we gonna see before we decide to dip out of here? All right, can I pull down the canvas now? All right, perfect. It's locked with a padlock. Maybe I could see something through the keyhole. Wonderful. Didn't look like a terrifying hallway at all. All right, how the hell am I gonna get? Oh, my hammer. Break the padlock. Bonk. 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 Nice, perfect. What was that lock even holding then? If the door was just gonna fall over like that? I got a gun on me, so if anybody runs at me, you're getting shot. So this is the warning now. Come out. You don't want to catch the... You don't want to catch these bullets. I promise you. God damn, why is the house so big? Hello, clock. Do not ding. It's empty and falling apart. Old paper. Qui decedant calum seminant in terra infernum. Animam miam offero peccato mi ad vitam liberam sine vinculis quibius mi ligatis aeperio. All right, hold up. Google Translate, help me out real quick. Translate from Latin. Those who long for heaven, sow hell and earth. I offer my soul, I open myself to a life free from sin without the bonds with which I am bound. Yeah, I'm good off all that. <laughs> yeah, I just read out like a ritual that sacrificed my soul. Oh my god, wait, I, I literally did. <laughs> I literally just offered my soul. Shit. <laughs> a hanger? For what? Clock. It's an old clock. It's not working. This is the last warning. You're gonna catch these hands if you jump scare me. It's locked. Maybe I can see something through the keyhole. Okay. 
It's locked. Maybe I can see something through the keyhole. Wonderful. Nothing but sketchy things. Wait, no, why did I? Oh, the hammer broke? I didn't even realize that. Come on, bro. Are we really gonna use the hanger to open this? Okay, apparently we are. Wait, nah, someone was just knocking on the other side of this. What? It's empty. What kind of place is this? I better get the hell out of here. Oh, brother. It's a little too late for that one, chief. I've been here for days and no one has come looking for me. I hear him shouting to himself. I think he's crazy. I was running very fast and I heard Ralph calling me, but it was the scarecrow. I think they could see through its eyes. I tried to find my way to the town, but the forest looks different every minute, and the night never seems to end. He locked me in here because I managed to escape from the basement. I found the screwdriver behind the house. It was my only hope to get out of here alive. He said everything is almost ready. Well, thanks for the screwdriver. We got, uh, we got quite... We got quite a few good games here today. Maybe games that won't let the door vanish to the house that I'm stuck in. Ah, <sighs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Door question mark? <laughs> Anybody, what language is this chat? You guys were able to tell me that the last one was Latin. So which one is this? I will stab one of you. Oh, hell fucking no. I'm sorry, chat. I'm going to be doing a lot of swearing during this game. All right, we, we low-key got a weapon, though, now, right? We kind of got a weapon. We got the screwdriver. All right, I'm calling it now, and the other side of that door is the basement. Old shelf. The doors won't open. The hinge must be rusty. If only I had a screwdriver. So maybe pry it open. That would have been grand. All right, come on. Look, there's a window here. I use the screwdriver to break off the wood, and then we just jump out. But that'd be too good to be true, I guess. Open door. Let's go. Broken door. Let's go. Another note. On February 26, 1933, on this Sunday, the population of Derryfield has been updated, revealing a staggering... 86% decrease since 1932. Did you guys hear someone walking? Mayor Frank Barnes has now addressed the issue, and in a last-ditch effort, he was garnered support for renaming the town from Derryfield to West Grove, with the hope of revitalizing the area to attract new tourists and residents. What? What just moved? Was that blocking the door before? Chad, I'm scared. Hold on, we get, we're gonna check the other door first. It's locked. Maybe I can see something through the people. Okay, we're good. Hide behind the couch. I don't know how effective that would be. It's locked. Maybe I can see something through the people. I'm out, 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 I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, the door, the door, the Chat, I don't know the way back. I don't know the way back. I don't know where I am. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm being chased, I'm being chased, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I don't know where I'm going. I'm back at the house. Bro, I'm sweating bullets now. Bro, where is the exit? I still can't see a damn thing. Was the exit not right here? No, it definitely was. Because the scarecrow is next to the entrance. Oh, wait, it's right here.
Can I help you guys? It won't let me go any further. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Okay. So that was the game Westgrove, and honestly, I really like that game. So it seems like that all of those kids and people were disappearing because that cult was getting to them, you know, the cult that we saw at the end there. But I honestly really liked it. I thought it was a good length. I thought it wasn't too short, but not too long. Of course, I'd rather it be longer, but that's just me nitpicking a little bit. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments down below. As you can see, I got totally freaked out by that one point there when I thought we were being chased. I was literally running into walls and stuff. I was freaking out. <laughs> so I thought the scares and stuff were really good. Like I said, said though if you want to check out the game for yourself the link will be in the description down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like on it and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe we do videos like this all the time and we're trying to hit 300k before the end of the year all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one peace